Let's see what Bing has in store for us today. Tuesday, the 2nd of February, 2021. Did it see its shadow? Marmot with the peak of Grossglockner in the background, Austria. Okay. Interesting. Shop for sweetie. Need Valentine's Day gift ideas? Look no further. Eh. True or false? Show what you know. Can you tell fact from fiction? Not easily. March is Black History Month. No, February is Black History Month. This is February, don't confuse me. Dude. Yeah, I know, there, it's, I get it. Supersonic quiz. Points are ripe for plundering in this quiz on Norway. Which five cities are in Norway? Lillehammer, huh? Copenhagen, that is a city somewhere, and I think it's even a capital. Tron Trondheim, Gothenburg, Oslo. Oslo is a city that may also be a capital. Espoo, Longyearbyen, Bergen. Yeah, um, I put in the description of every video, I'm sorry for the mispronunciations. So, if you, uh, please don't feel bad. Okay, I'm gonna guess the two that I've heard of before. Oh, Oslo! Uh, hang on. Capital and largest city of Norway. I should've looked at Copenhagen to see where that's from. A town and municipality in Opland County. Trondheim. Oh, it's in Norway also. I didn't look at the check mark. I was just reading. Uh, I didn't search. Uh, oh, Finland. Okay. Literally. The Long Year Town. Nice. So my computer just restarted itself for some unknown reason. Uh, Bergen is located in Norway. Okay, we moved on to the next question. And I also want to say thank you to my subscribers because you guys, you guys are the ones who encouraged me to continue making these videos. Which five animals are native to Norway? White-tailed eagle, lemming, scarlet, is it ibis, ibis, Ca Cantabrian, brown bear, Cantabrian, yeah, Eur Eur Eurasian, Eurasian, lynx, Eurasian lynx, slow loris, arctic fox, and Atlantic puffin. Okay. Which animals are native to Norway? This, a lot of these sounded cool. Don't lemmings no longer exist? I like the game. Um, alright, let's... Ooh, nice! I was not sure about that. Alright, uh, well let's guess the brown bear. Oh, dang. Scarlet... Nope. Trinidad and Tobago. A lynx. Cool. Slow loris. It makes me think, oh dude, it is, it looks similar to a sloth. Okay. Oh, but it's not. It says uh, Indian, Borneo, S Sumatra, Arctic fox. Oh, cool. So, 
Oh, I think the Arctic Wolf was something that being talked about in the past week or so. Atlantic Puffin. Uh, is that five? Oh, wow, so that means the lemming. Norway is home to 30% of Atlantic Puffins, I guess. Oh, dude, that looks nothing like the character from the game. I mean, obviously, purple shirts and green hair, and they look like people. Well, anyway, um... Which five lakes are in Norway? Siljen, Femund, Lemmingen. That one must be because the little animal. Mostven, Vetten. Is that an I? Inari, Anasi. I'm so sorry, guys. Turif, Jordan, and Mjosa. Mjosa? No idea. Alright, I'm gonna guess the engine. Nice. Okay, and then I'm just going to go down the line. And we can see, okay, Sweden. Norway. Oh, Femund also borders with Sweden. Norway borders with Sweden. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll remember it. Oh, look, it's the 10th, I don't know, is the 10th largest lake in Norway? Uh, Finland. Oh, France, dude, that's a while away. I mean, I don't know geography, it could be very close, but, Nessie. Norway. Oh. Oh, dude, this is the largest lake. Okay. And also, while I'm getting back to the home page, I want to say I understand that a lot of people use Bing for gift cards and then use Google for their main search engine, but I like to use Bing, so I wanted to show off what it can do. All right, home cage quiz. It's Groundhog Day. That's what I thought you guys were going to say, and I don't see how that's even possible. It is February 2nd right now. How are we saying, are we about to start spring? Sp I don't know, it seems way too early to be asking that question. It's the beginning of February. According to tradition, if the groundhog sees its shadow, we get... Yeah, this, I don't know. So, it's either A or B, it's not C. Free tick to Puxitani, that's Puxitani Phil. Maybe that's... The name of the city I don't know but I get Phil either an early spring or six more weeks of winter so I'm gonna say shadows are common so that makes more sense that we would get winter oh dude look 89% got this right and I mean I thought that most people just search because then you get your Bing searches also and then you get the right answer, but a lot of people seem to do what I do and just guess. You might think seeing a shadow means it's sunny and therefore spring is on the way, but the tradition says that the shadow means more winter. Confused? Forget it and just check this weather forecast. Well, I'll, I'll look at the weather later. Who stars opposite Bill Murray in the 1993 movie Groundhog Day? I wonder what year I would have guessed that movie is in. Scarlett Johansson, Jessica Lange, or Andy McDowell. I'm gonna guess Andy McDowell because she was in a lot of movies back then. McDowell plays TV producer Rita Hansen, who works with weatherman Phil Connors. Is that not interesting that his first name is Phil? Because we have the groundhog name Phil. And cameraman Larry to cover the fe festivities in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. 73% got this right. And I wonder if that ever came up in the movie that his name is Phil and he goes there. I'm assuming it did. I just don't remember that specific part. Which of these is not another name for the groundhog? Woodchuck, Murray's Rat, or Whistlepig? Wait a second, you're saying two of these are? Woodchucks, Chuck Wood. What are we talking about? Groundhogs. Yeah, I can't even tell them from beavers. Alright, I'm saying a woodchuck is a separate animal. Dude, Murray's rat. 54% got this right. I wonder how many choose this one. Distributed across most of Canada 
and the eastern U.S., groundhogs have picked up some odd common names including whistle pig, and without woodchuck, we'd have to say how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could, could hog ground. That's, that's funny. That is why I like to cover these. Somebody thought up that. It's just not the same, but it is so funny. Alright, get your score. Not bad. Two out of three. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, two more things. One, being... Oh, quote of the day. Sorry if that caused noise. No winter lasts forever. No spring skips its turn. Hal Borland, American author, journalist, and naturalist. Well, I don't completely agree, but... I mean, no winter lasts forever. That's why we get spring. But spring, dude. In St. Louis, we get like two days. A year. And then another couple of fall. And... Uh, I'd like to have spring 66 days. All right, that's it. Uh, see you later.